Hey everybody, it's Yak here, back another video. Vinland Saga is underrated. Yes, I, I said it, okay? Before you leave your comment, let me explain myself first. But before that, if you do enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for similar anime content, manhwa content. Leave whatever anime manhwa you want me to read in the comments below and I'll make a video on it. But without further ado, let's get straight into it. Vinland Saga is underrated, okay? Now, the definition of underrated according to Google, which sources from Oxford languages, is not rated or valued highly enough. Now, looking at my anime list, I'm just going to hit you straight with the facts here. Vinland Saga is ranked number 99 on my anime list. Now, this is absolutely absurd because this series is top 10, if not top 15 series of all time. I mean, this series has some things that are very unique to it that it does extremely well. Throughout the series, there's none of this trope of a female character that the main character is just attached to for no reason or this female character that needs to be on screen okay it's it's historically accurate vinland saga likes to be with how females were treated during the times by the nordic people essentially as tools they raided villages and they used the woman this is this is one of the main great aspects of this series the fact that it's accurate in too many series nowadays you'll see that they play this historic accuracy especially in american tv shows they'll play this historic accuracy and it won't be accurate okay in these times we got to realize these nordic people were literally pillaging villages for their food they were killing everybody they were doing all kinds of nasty stuff bro they did not care we have to realize this kind of stuff and there's nothing more that i like than series that are actually accurate with it okay if there's a big monster that's a human eater that can kill humans or whatever i want to see that Okay, don't just say it and then have it be like a cute monster. No, it, it's a human killer monster, whatever. And Vinland Saga does this amazingly. I remember the first time I was introduced to this series, I thought it was going to be a run of the mill average series. But once I started watching it, oh my goodness, I was completely wrong. This series is top 10, 100%. There's so many great aspects, starting with the beginning. We see Thorfinn as a child and his father Thor and how he looks up to his father. And then we see his father with this philosophy of not killing, even though he was the greatest warrior. He, he, he ran away from killing because that's not what a true warrior is. He realized this and he eventually died because he stuck with this resolve. Now, unlike other anime that love to portray this not killing theme, especially modern anime, that have these main characters that are just afraid to kill. Vinland Saga shows you people dying. In fact, it shows you people getting their limbs severed. It shows you them getting their fingers cut off. I mean, this series is amazing. It is amazing. And the, one of the best things this series does is the character per portrayal. The portrayal of characters is amazing in this series. It is absolutely amazing. I've never seen better character backstories that are played and felt through the character actually i have another series that's but it's it's definitely one of the top ones i mean we see thorfinn throughout the series this video is gonna have minor spoilers uh spoiler alert but we see throughout the series he starts by askeladd killing his father and he has this intense hatred for askeladd but eventually throughout the series he opens up to him, not really. He still kind of says he wants to kill him and all this. But once we see Askeladd getting danger, it's almost as if Thorfinn rushes to his help because Thorfinn cares for him deeply. Uh, an instance that comes to mind is when Askeladd was cornered by his own band because they were getting chased down by Thorkel. And Thorfinn thought Askeladd was going to die. So he went in there literally ready to throw his life away. In fact, he even challenged Thorkel to a duel with no hesitation, okay? Now we gotta, bro, I just, okay, in anime, things look like they're on even playing fields all the time, but we gotta realize this right away. Thorkel in the Vinland Saga series, this man is a giant. I looked up his height, he's like seven foot six. And you know, people were shorter back then, right? So this man is seven foot six. He's like, he's probably one of the most tall people on planet Earth at that period. He'd be one of the most tall people on planet Earth at this time. He's probably, I mean, it's crazy. 
it is crazy and then we have our main character thorfinn who's extremely small i think he's like five foot four or he wasn't even grow fully grown at this time like five foot two or something challenged him like it was nothing with no fear with no fear at all i mean this is admirable and this is not one of those instances where the main character is going to challenge someone and we already know they're going to come on top because they're the main character okay all these popular series come to mind where we know if they get in a fight they're going to win that fight but in vinland saga we don't know what is going to happen okay fingers get sliced off we don't know who's going to die no character is immune to die that much is a fact except for the main character thorfinn at least but every other character is fair game and this is shown even i mean going back to the fight for instance between him and thorkel it didn't follow the standard of the main character just went straight out bro thorfinn got knocked out he got knocked out and i love how the anime did it because it's realistic too this just shows how realistic it is because when he got knocked out and he woke up he didn't just know where he was he had to look around and he was figuring out his surroundings that's how it is in real life when you get knocked out you don't know where you are it's like you got sent to a different reality you got sent to the shadow realm and thorfinn got sent to the shadow realm by thorkel okay but he also sent him back in the the shadow realm because one of the funniest moments and this series is funny too because thorkel is like seven foot six but he has a glass chin all right <laughs> He took a kick to the jaw and he went lights out like it was like like that was his sweet spot or something. That was one of the most funny things I've ever seen in my life. I couldn't stop laughing at that. Okay, but but going back to the characters, I mean the characters are fleshed out completely. Okay, we can understand Askeladd. He's like ma he's made to be the main villain of the series. But as we go down the line, I mean I didn't even see him as a villain. I see him as like. A friend or something of the main character it's a, i don't even see him as a villain and we get backstories of all these characters prince canute we get his backstory too i thought he was a female for the longest time i thought the the nords were about to do uh anyway so we we get backstory into thorfinn too and how he was affected as a child and it all makes sense too and we have thorkel i mean he's painted as this guy who just loves war and everything his character does is to signify the fact he loves war i mean he will just straight up start a war just to start a war he's a pure embodiment of what going to valhalla or being what a a prime viking was like i guess in their terms vinland saga in my opinion is a hundred percent underrated for everything i've said so far in the video and i mean i'm just touching the surface here there's so many other different reasons we're talking about the fight scenes i went into thorfinn and thorkel a little bit but there's a lot more fight scenes i mean in this series there's a constant period of war so you can imagine how many different fight scenes there are they don't spare people they they do not spare people let me just say that that's another great aspect the animation placing you in the environment there's so many other different aspects that are great about this series and with the new season coming out hopefully in early 2023 next year this season is going to get the attention it deserves okay right now it's underrated in my opinion but if this series releases on a service like Crunchyroll or Funimation, it will definitely get the attention it deserves. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for similar anime content in the future. If you have any anime you want me to watch, leave a comment below and I might give it a watch, okay? If you recommend some uh, reincarnated in a different world because I read books or something like that or whatever these random titles are, I'm probably not going to watch that. But if you recommend a, an interesting series, I'll 100% watch it. 